Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this Varicat training course version 2016 and this lesson is called Edition with Grips. Uh, to start explaining how the grips work, uh, I'd like to tell you that grips are small squares or arrowheads that appear at key points on the object where they're selected. And this is a powerful way to make addition of objects. Before I, sh I show you how to work, I'd like to show you how to turn them on or off. The first option is, again, going to this drawing area, right-click, mouse, choosing options, and then tap selection, and you have this little square here, show grips. If you take this out, then they are turn it off. If you click, turn it on. Okay? Apply. Okay. The other way to deal with this turn it on or off is to write down grips. And grips, you have three possible states. Uh, number zero will turn it on and both values one and two uh, sorry zero turn it off values one and two turn it on uh, the, we have um, a very uh, slight difference between being one or being two uh, which is not very important at this moment even because we did not see um, the type of entity which reflects this difference between the one and two. So if you want to turn it on um, through the command line, you can choose either one or two. It's not very important for, for the, the issue of have them um, on. Now, to show you how they work, I will uh, draw two lines, I will draw also a circle. Um, before I show you, I'd like to tell you that uh, this is a powerful way to edit things and uh, they have different behavior uh, according to the type of object. I will show you um, how they work for these two types of object, very simple, lines and circles. And uh, as long as you go and make uh, your drawings, make your work, you can test and see on other types of objects. So, um, we've seen in one of our previous lessons this panel modify. And inside this panel modify, we have a lot of commands that allow us to edit uh, objects that we are we have already inside our drawing area and basically the process is for example if we want to move something we go in the command then we choose an object we give the coordinate and so on and so on and so on to apply the command grips are a little different and more practical they don't allow to make everything which is inside here, but the most important ones uh, are possible. For example, let me click. I don't have any command um, going on at this moment, so I will click this line. And you can see, according to, to what I told you in the beginning of this lesson, that grips were small squares. Um, you can see that I click on the line. I don't have any command, but this line assume in in its in in its key points, two endpoints and one middle point, these small squares. So with these small squares in the screen, if I click in one of these small ones and uh, to start the endpoints, I will click this one. And you see now that I can stretch on the direction or I can move this and click again and it's changed. I can do also, if I click on the midpoint 
and then a move is applied okay so according to the place uh, where you click in your entity it has a different behavior for example now I'll do the escape to clean these grips I will choose this and I will choose this okay if I click here in the intersection point then I have this capability because this intersection point it's it has coincidence of two grips of both endpoints of the lines if I click I can change both at the same time for example I can do another thing which is click again on the two lines and I can hold my shift key to select one grip two grips three grips and now I can click in one of the grips and you see that this line that has the grips in red it maintains its direction its length and only the second one it is changed okay this is another very nice possibility to last but not least importance if I go to this kind of event this kind of entity a circle or it could be a arc um, if I click I have other key points and in this in this case we have the quadrants and we have the center so if I click on the center I do a move if I click in one of the quadrants I do a change on the radio okay so this is quite clever I have another possibility which is I can click in one of the lines I can go to this point here you see now I still did not click just uh, leaving the cursor uh, on top and I will click it okay it is chosen and now I will do a right click with the mouse and I have a lot of options for example you, you see that I could do the scale move whatever it is but I want to show you this rotate and you see now that I can apply a rotate with the same command okay so we have a lot of options to work with these grips uh, I think I've shown the concept to work with this and um, for as long as we are going to see more entities more ways to work with AutoCAD you can improve and going deeper with these grips functionality for other types of uh, entities.